What is going on YouTube? Tom here. Yes, it has been a good while since I have done a driving vlog. But as I briefly kind of alluded to in the last video, I pin, actually, I, I may have pinned the comment, I did in fact get another job. So, been been busy with that, doing job stuff. But the good news is this job actually gives me the flexibility of working from home. In addition to, I no longer have to work every weekend. So yes, hopefully I will have at least, maybe not more uploads, but at least now that we're getting back into it, now that Christmas is done, I have a more consistent upload schedule. I hope. Don't quote me on that, because we gotta see how everything works. But, meanwhile, got the Mustang back out. Want to talk about some Mustang news. And if you all haven't seen it, there was a bit of an accident up in Detroit. Two brand new 2020 GT500s have been wrecked on a truck in Detroit. Now I know it's a little bit of some old news, but I still wanted to make a video talking about that because it's a little bit sad in a way. Because it's like man, brand new cars haven't even made it to their owners yet. And already more than likely going to end up being total. So a Ford, it looked like F-250, was towing these cars on a standard car carrying trailer when it, the trailer jackknifed and it looked like they overturned the trailer. And I don't remember exactly which road it was, it's in the article, but it was it's one of the main roads in Detroit. If you're from Detroit, you, you know exactly what road they're talking about. I'm not from Detroit, so I couldn't tell you. But, and basically no one even cares that the truck was also damaged and possibly totaled in it. But these two cars, these Shelbys were on their side and props to whoever strapped the car down and, to, and whatever straps they are. Cause whatever straps those were, I want about 10 of them right now or any strapping needs. Cause the cars look like they didn't go anywhere. And they look, I guess they were strapped down correctly then. Unfortunately though, one of the two cars was a green GT500, the Grabber Lime. It actually looks like that was a carbon fiber track pack. That's unfortunate, because that's a very low production car. That Ford only said they were gonna make a small number of to start with, so that's that's kind of sad right there. Somebody more than likely had to custom order that car, and then it's just gonna go ahead and get wrecked like that before they even get it. Of course, there was a bit of news now. Apparently, it has been discredited, but there was a rumor that it was actually going to be for a member of the Ford family. Now, that has apparently been discredited, and there was an owner on Facebook named Juan Perez who came up on all the various Facebook pages. Basically, everybody he said that that looked just like the one he had ordered, which actually really is unfortunate. Now, the cars themselves don't necessarily look totaled. I know that some people say, oh, they'll be, they'll be repaired and put back on the lot somewhere and all that. Well, unfortunately, I don't see that being the thing. Number one, something already that prominent to have happened. It would really be a, a terrible move from a dealer just to go ahead and put that car right back on the lot, especially one that's been up on its side. And then on top of that, you know, you don't see what all damage has been done underneath. There could be more damage that you can't see under all of the body work. And then, and then cars are not made to go on their side like that. So the chassis could have all sorts of loading that's just simply not made to be there. That car could honestly, those cars could honestly be in way worse shape than they look. They could have frame damage. I see them more than likely getting totaled out of the deal. Which is very unfortunate because that's a car that starts at over seventy thousand dollars, 
and then with fully loaded with that track package that you know that's a hundred plus thousand dollar car with all boxes selected and, you know the gray car didn't look like it necessarily was going to be a hundred thousand dollar one but that driver line car probably was so that's very unfortunate to see and, and unless unless they decide to get those drivetrains Ford decides to buy the, the engines and transmissions back and then scrap them I'd be on the lookout for a GT500 Predator swamped Fox body. You know, you know it's going to be a thing. You know, given the chance, someone would do it. The only reason I even bring this story up is actually a little bit of irony with my own car, my 18 Mustang GT that I'm driving right now. Now, a lot of you might remember I custom ordered this car new in 2018. I, went in January of 2018 and I got it in March of 2018. Literally the week it went up on the truck where I got the confirmation that it's on its way to Florida. A news article broke and said a brand new shipment of Fords on a truck had overturned. I don't know if I'll ever even be able to find that one again. But I, I actually even said what, I can't remember if they said the dealer or not. They may have even said what dealer it was heading to. And if I remember correctly, if they did, it was the dealer I bought my car from. So it was like, I remember getting really worried, like, no, heck, that can't happen. That's going to be bad. Uh, I looked at the, all the news pictures, all the articles, and turned to find, come to find out, the good news was none of the vehicles, or at least the good news in my case, was none of the vehicles were red. I don't think a single one was a Mustang. It looked to me like, at the time, a bunch of escapes. Bad news if that was anyone's escape. But I just remember, like, wow, that almost could have happened in my car. That was a big fear. Like, what's going to happen if that happens? This Ford... It's like, would I get my money back for the car? I hadn't paid money towards this car at that point. Obviously, you know, it wouldn't be the same VIN number if I did get a car. Are they going to let me custom order a whole new one? Are they going to go find an identical one? It was like, man, what would happen? What would have honestly happened? So unfortunately, if that is, you know, your GT500 up on that truck in Detroit, if that was one of yours, I feel sorry, Mr. Juan Perez, I feel bad for you, man, if that really is your car, and whoever, the, the gray car, same thing, that, that sucks, but is what it is, I guarantee you that the guy who was driving that truck probably will never haul a couple cars for Ford again, but anyway, let me know in the comment section below what you think about all of that, what do you all think about the GT500s getting wrecked before they even hit the dealer lot? Because that, that's quite sad to me, but the good news was it wasn't my car. I, I, couldn't, I couldn't afford one anyway, so I still probably wouldn't be able to afford the wrecked ones. But oh well. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about all of that. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to get back into the upload schedule here. Hopefully we can do that now that we got work schedule back on track and everything. Anyway, take care. Have a good day.